Hi, Rich Powell from ClearPath here. By now, you've probably heard us talk about a tax credit to increase the capture of carbon dioxide emissions. Known as 45Q, it has incredible investment and environmental benefits. Since its enactment in 2018, there's been positive commercial momentum toward projects on everything from a Nebraska coal-fired power plant to a Colorado cement plant and a facility that vacuums carbon dioxide out of the air in Texas. In all, there are now over two dozen projects across the country under development, with more certainly coming. Remember, 45Q incentivizes developers for mechanically capturing carbon dioxide and safely storing it underground or using it in products. It pays out on a per ton basis. If a project captures more CO2, it generates more credits, sending a strong technology neutral market signal for sucking up more carbon dioxide. But we want to share some news on the future prospects of the 45Q carbon sequestration tax credit. First, there's bipartisan support to extend the credit. Congress enacted changes to Section 45Q of the tax code in February 2018. But fast forward more than two and a half years, and the IRS still has not finalized rules that many project developers need to attract investment. This is problematic because projects must start construction by the end of 2023 to generate credits. Carbon capture projects often require hundreds of millions of dollars and several years to build. Small delays and perceived uncertainties can be big barriers. But there are solutions. A great example, Republican Representatives David Schweikert and Brad Wenstrup joined House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy and others earlier this year to unveil the carbon management portion of the House GOP's climate change plan. Their bill would expand the 45Q tax credits and make them permanent in the federal tax code. There's also bipartisan support in the Senate for extension from Republican Senators Barrasso, Capito, Hoven, and Kramer to Democratic Senators Whitehouse and Smith. But why extend? What's at stake here? 45Q could play a huge role in decarbonization, clean investment across the country and American job growth. According to analyses from the Rhodium Group, a permanent extension of the 45Q credit could drive deep reductions in power plants and industrial facilities across more than 30 states. Add up the opportunities and there's nearly four gigatons of CO2 emissions reduced by 2050. That's the equivalent of offsetting the emissions of over 29 million cars for 30 years or roughly 5% of the total emissions we'll need to reduce over the next three decades from this single policy proposal. These facilities would also create 157,000 construction and operation job years, with over half stemming from permanent operations and maintenance positions. One reason it's so effective, 45Q can incentivize carbon capture on heavy industrial processes like cement, chemicals, and the transportation fuel sectors unlike renewable energy tax credits. Rhodium found that about a tenth of all U.S. industrial sector emissions would be economical to capture under a permanent 45Q. And this is just with modest improvements on today's industrial capture technologies. Doubtless, such a far-sighted signal to the market would lead to breakthrough new technologies which would bring down costs to the point where they're available to even more facilities. Carbon capture technology is on the cusp of major developments. And as you see from the rhodium analyses, building on 45Q can help make that goal a reality. Thanks for watching.